I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Welcome to Should I Watch, a series dedicated to revisiting great television shows that deserve your attention. From old school to contemporary favorites, we will tell you why we think these are the shows worth checking out. Some series are recognizable by name alone, even if you have never seen a single episode. Such is the case with Lost, which was created by Jeffrey Lieber, J.J. Abrams, and Damon Lindelof. Lost is a show that was one of the most popular conversation topics when it originally aired on ABC from 2004 to 2010. Airing for 121 episodes over six seasons, Lost redefined television and remains one of the best television series of all time. What is Lost about? Lost is a mystery set on a remote Pacific island and follows the survivors of the crash of Oceanic Flight 815. The show started simply enough as a spin-on Castaway and featured an ensemble cast of characters from various walks of life. But, by the conclusion of the two-hour pilot episode, you realize that there is more to this island than coconuts and beautiful beaches. The roar of a monster and the classic line, Guys, where are we? tells us this show was going to be something special. Guys. Where are we? Primarily a science fiction tale, Lost blends mythology, romance, time travel, and spirituality into a story that defines the term epic. Oh, and there are polar bears and connections to the writing of Stephen King. Who stars in Lost? Lost stars a huge cast led by Matthew Fox as Jack Shepard. Until that point, Fox was best known as the star of the series Party of Five, but his lead here really propelled him to fame. The same can be said of Evangeline Lilly, who plays Kate Austin, and Josh Holloway as James Sawyer, who form the other parts of a series-long love triangle. The great Terry O'Quinn appears as the enigmatic John Locke, foil to Jack and the Survivors. Lord of the Rings star Dominic Monaghan also appears with Daniel Day Kim, Jorge Garcia, Yunjin Kim, Harold Perrineau, and many more. Over the series, new cast members included Michelle Rodriguez, Henry Ian Cusick, Michael Emerson, Elizabeth Mitchell, Jeff Fahey, and Nestor Carbonell. Why Should I Watch Lost? If you haven't seen Lost, you're missing out on one of the greatest television shows of all time. From the mind of J.J. Abrams and producer-writer Damon Lindelof and eventually writer Carlton Cuse, Lost redefined television when it premiered in 2004. Prior to Lost, most genre series utilized a Monster of the Week approach. Shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The X-Files, and Star Trek all had character development, but episodes could still be viewed independently of one another. Lost made it required to have seen every episode leading up to the latest chapter. Using the conceit of flashback, we quickly begin to learn that these characters are all connected and they were brought to the island for a reason. Lost quickly became destination viewing as clues peppered through every single episode would lead to the solution of the countless mysteries within. What is the island? Who is Jacob? What is the smoke monster? Why are everyone's lives interconnected? What does it all mean? What helped Lost become such a big hit was the fact that it was a science fiction show wrapped up in a standard TV drama. When the pilot episode starts, the show seemed to be about plane crash survivors, and by the series finale, it was a meditation on life and love. Along the way, there was the overarching mystery of why Oceanic 815 survivors were on this island, and it included funny moments ranging from Sawyer's eternal cachet of nicknames for his fellow islanders to Hurley's comic relief. The mystery of the smoke monster and the hatch and the numbers and the ghostly apparitions across the island echoed the eerie feel of the Twilight Zone, but they were balanced by heartfelt and touching moments such as the romances between Charlie and Claire, Jin and Son, Jack and Kate, and Desmond and Penny. There were also scares aplenty as the show introduced more and more supernatural elements. Lost was the Game of Thrones of the early 2000s, with each season resulting in shocking deaths. Some you could see coming, but most of the twists still rank as the most memorable in television history. It is virtually impossible to tell you anything about them without spoilers, but the brilliance of Carlton Cuse and Damon Lindelof and the Lost Writers Room is that these characters are ones you will invest in, and not all of them make it off the island alive. Though there were numerous imitators, no other series managed to infiltrate pop culture the way Lost did. Now, some have claimed that the writers had no idea where they were going and just came up with this batshit crazy idea along the way, but even if that is true, it doesn't discount how thrilling a ride Lost is the first time you watch it. Like a movie with a twist ending, every cliffhanger and surprise on Lost will still make you jump out of your seat in surprise. It is also worth noting that while viewers who watch on television had to wait week to week to see what happens next, Lost works incredibly well as a binge-watching experience. 
Lost was also one of the first series to integrate alternate reality gaming into the narrative of the show. Some of these games and secrets are included on the DVD and Blu-ray sets for the show, and others can still be easily found online. These additional resources add a lot to the viewing experience and make Lost even more interactive. J.J. Abrams rode the popularity of Lost after directing the brilliant pilot episode, which is definitely one of the single best hours of television ever made. Abrams' frequent collaborator and future Oscar winner Michael Giacchino contributed the brilliant score that made use of unconventional instruments and single piano notes. While the first season remains a highlight for me thanks to the total blank slate you start with, the show developed a deep backstory through the seasons. Each year is marked by some major events that culminate in some questions being answered by the series finale, but not all of them. If you start watching from the beginning, here are some things to keep at the top of your mind as you watch the show. The importance of the hatch. The mysterious others. The origin of the statue. Who is Richard Alpert? What are the numbers? Who is the man in black? These may seem vague and mysterious, but just like Lost, they will keep you invested in trying to put the puzzle pieces together through over 100 episodes. Fans of Lost are usually very outspoken about the finale of the show. A very divisive closer, I personally love it and think it encapsulates the entire show exactly how I pictured it from the beginning. Lost is not a series for those who want things wrapped up in a nice package at the end. But, if you are someone who likes the thrill of the journey, you should definitely watch this show. I recently revisited the entirety of the series, and it actually holds up really well 15 years later. What's happened after Lost ended? Since ending its run, Lost's most famous alumni are primarily the ones behind the camera. Creators J.J. Abrams, Damon Lindelof, and Carlton Cuse have all had successful careers since Lost, with Abrams obviously the man who brought both Star Trek and Star Wars to a new generation of fans. Carlton Cuse has been working steadily on the small screen on acclaimed series like Bates Motel and Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. Damon Lindelof met some opposition from fans for his work on Star Trek Into Darkness alongside J.J. Abrams, as well as Prometheus, Tomorrowland, and most recently The Hunt. But Lindelof redeemed himself with two brilliant TV series for HBO, the absolutely stunning The Leftovers and 2019's Watchmen. Much of the cast has worked steadily since the series went off the air. Evangeline Lilly may be the biggest success of the bunch with her roles in Peter Jackson's The Hobbit trilogy, as well as Marvel Cinematic Universe as The Wasp. Matthew Fox starred in the Wachowski Speed Racer, as well as the film Alex Cross, but has not been in a movie or series since 2015's Bone Tomahawk. Maggie Grace joined the cast of Fear the Walking Dead, while Ian Somerhalder found a new fandom on the CW's Vampire Diaries. Naveen Andrews appeared in several series, including the Wachowski sense on Netflix, as well as the thriller Instinct, while Dominic Monaghan recently appeared in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Emily de Ravine joined Once Upon a Time from Lost writers Edward Kitsis and Adam Horowitz, while Jorge Garcia and Daniel Day Kim both joined the cast of Hawaii Five-O. Josh Holloway headlined a few series, including the science fiction series Colony, and Yoon Jin Kim starred in the ABC series Mistresses before returning to South Korea for the show Miss Ma Nemesis. The series' main antagonists, Emmy winners Terry O'Quinn and Michael Emerson, attempted to work together in a new series that never came to fruition, but both have been successful since. O'Quinn appeared on Hawaii Five-0 as well, before appearing in the series 666 Park Avenue, Patriot, J.J. Abrams' Castle Rock, and most recently, Perpetual Grace Limited. Emerson starred in the series Person of Interest for five seasons, before playing DC villain Caden James on the CW's Arrow, and now stars in the genre series Evil on CBS. The odds are that we will never see another series as unique as Lost, but we have its legacy in virtually every show that has come after it. I would not be shocked if Lost were next on the remake bandwagon, like The X-Files in 24 in recent years. The nature of Lost's backstory makes it ripe for a new tale following another set of survivors as they navigate the mysteries of the island. Part of me hopes it never happens as the cast, showrunners, and production values from ABC Studios and Bad Robot have helped make Lost one of the best TV shows of all time, and that makes Lost an absolute must-see. Where can you watch Lost? Currently, it's available on DVD and Blu-ray, as well as on digital platforms like iTunes, Google Play, Vudu, and YouTube. For those with streaming subscriptions, you can catch every episode via Amazon Prime or Hulu. You think we crashed on this place by coincidence? Especially this place? We were brought here for a purpose, for a reason, all of us. Each one of us was brought here for a reason. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your new show. I'm Alex Mady with JoeBlow.com.